Hey y'all, this is Chad with the NorthernSurvivalist.com. I'm making homemade pasta, four egg pasta. That is, um, that's whole eggs, um, organ whole organic eggs, um, dried. And so it's about four eggs right there. It takes about two tablespoons to make one egg. And over here I got a three cups of flour and a teaspoon of salt and over here I got some I got a hope I got enough it's olive oil I got out of some uh, <laughs> some pesto and oops seem to have an airplane or something overhead black helicopter yep where is it at? It sounds really close too. It's probably one of those uh, new uh, Taser uh, miniature helicopters. Yep. That uh, Homeland Security is going to use to go after um, sovereign citizens. It's over there now. Huh. Well. Yep, I know. So um, let's add some purified water to these eggs. And I'm just gonna just do this by pretty much eyeing out everything. <laughs> Hope everything comes out right. I'm sure it'll be great though. Homemade egg pasta. Got this in the cave cooking cookbook from survival.com. Um, yeah, written by Karen Hood, I believe. It's a PDF download, very quick download. Um, it's not encrypted or anything, doesn't need a password. Um, they want, I think, seven bucks for it. And it's got a lot of good recipes in it. A lot of good campfire recipes, a lot of at-home recipes, some ancient recipes, uh, recipes passed down from generation to generation. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Yeah. No recipes. So, you might want to check that out. I haven't worked much with uh, powdered eggs, so Got enough water. Probably be easier to do this with a, some sort of electronic mixing machine, but you know what? Out uh, here we don't got that. So there's no electricity out here. Unless you got a solar panel. Electricity in the boondocks. Eggs. Just make like a ball in there, kind of like that. Put the wet stuff in the middle. Oh yeah! Get, get my hands. In. chunks in there.
Yeah, I was looking for something to do with the rest of my flour. I was out of baking powder, so I'd, making bannock wasn't an option. Thought about hardtack. It's easily better. I don't know. Just the way it sounded, it was easier to make in the oven. I mean, it could be done. Yeah, I know. But then I ran across this recipe. And this appears to be just about there. Alright, that's good enough. Good enough for government work. Yep. Here we go. Eggs. Let's go run over to the... Oh, man. Oh, my God. He's got a computer in the wilderness. Oh, my, my. Okay. Here we go. Four egg pasta. Three cups of flour, four eggs, teaspoon of salt. Uh, a teaspoon and a half of olive oil. Okay. Um, hmm. Well... And okay, and uh, a table, yeah, excuse me, a tablespoon and a half of water or milk. All right, so let's uh, use what olive oil we got. I don't got much, and I doubt there's even a couple teaspoons in there. Oh well. I mean, I got some butter. Hmm, I wonder if that would work. We can experiment. fun part. Mixing it all up. Yep. I don't got nothing against bread machines or pasta machines or whatever, but uh, got to remember what to remember for last thousands of years uh, or however long pasta has been being made. They didn't have no damn bread machines or pasta machines or whatever. And uh, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. So. Tell you what, I'll come back here and uh, after I'm done mixing this up. Uh, don't want to make this video too long. Alright. Okay, welcome back. Pretty much got this uh, formed into uh, a dough. And 
and get my hands in it and knead it and everything. Probably use a little bit more kneading, but basically what you do, and then uh, and then you like you roll it out to where it's to your uh, it's thin, and then you cut whatever you want. I'm probably do mine about fettuccine like. And, uh, there you go. And then um, to cook this, uh, I know homemade pasta cooks, you know, fresh pasta cooks really fast, like within a few, couple minutes in, in uh, boiling water. But get the water boiling first and then uh, add your pasta. And a few minutes later, drain the water al dente and uh, add your favorite sauce. Good to go. Alright, thanks for watching. Check out my blog, thenorthernsurvivalist.com.